So this is our play on the tiny house concept. Um, ours meaning my program here at, at Hawkeye Community College, the Sustainable Construction and Design Program. And uh, um, with the tiny house craze kind of going on across the country right now, Home and Garden's really helping that out. We kind of picked up on that and uh, ran with it as a class project this past year. Um, so it's a 216 square foot on the main level home uh, with 132 square feet on the second level for the living quarters for the bedroom um, with a 6 by 12 front porch out here for a couple Adirondack chairs or whatnot. Come on in. This would kind of be our living area. Um, and we've got enough, we've got an electric fireplace, which is our main source of heat for the house. Um, the house is so small and so airtight that, the, that there's plenty of heat coming off an electric fireplace to heat the entire building. And we get some ambiance off of it and a nice little spot for your TV above the fireplace. Um, and then over here we've got room for a, either like a couple lazy boys or a hide -a bed um, to have more sleeping space. Um, full kitchen, uh, including a breakfast bar, so you'd have room for a couple uh, bar stools at the, uh, at the breakfast bar, a spot to plug in your laptops or your cell phones um, with USB plugins built right into the wall. Um, full kitchen um, with room for a 24 inch uh, range and a 28 inch uh, refrigerator. Uh, so both of those are smaller units than what would be in your kitchen at home. Um, more efficiency sized units. It's also wired for a above the range microwave, um, but we didn't install any appliances because it's going to be kind of up to the homeowner on what they want for taste. Um, and then back here is our bathroom. We have a full stand up shower and a toilet. Notice no sink. Um, tiny house concept, everything you need, nothing you don't. You don't need two sinks in a house. We've got a sink right out here that'll work just fine for brushing your teeth or uh, for the missus to put her makeup on or whatever. Um, and then all of the uh, plumbing is actually underneath the sink, uh, including the hot water heater on the left there and all of the inlines and exit lines for the water and sewer. And then on the second floor is the living space for, or the bedroom space I should say. Um, and there is enough room up there for a queen size mattress in the center of the room with three feet all the way around it. Um, without having electric in here, we can't really show you some of the cool things, but we've got a built in light tray up on the, up on the pitch of the, the peak of the roof that actually shines the light uh, indirectly down each side of the roof so they don't hit the head, your head on the, the light fixture on the ceiling and then a couple reading lights on the back wall. I, I think we're real happy with the way it turned out. I think the students are real happy and, and uh, I think they took a real good sense of pride in it. They had a lot of great comments at the show um, and uh, it, they were able to actually feel the pride of, of ownership of a project and not just uh, doing something and walking away from it and, and never knowing the end results.